Ever since Hyundai introduced the Veloster name back in 2011, we've been anxiously awaiting a true performance model. Thankfully, when Albert Bierman joined the, C the Hyundai scene, we finally have a vehicle that he himself has personally tuned. This is the all-new 2019 Veloster N, a new hot hatch performance car from Hyundai. I'm at the 2018 Detroit Auto Show. Let's take a first look. So when you look at the design of the new Veloster, you can see it takes a very evolutionary approach from the previous generation. Honestly, the first gen was very polarizing in its design, and the new one didn't really need too much. Hyundai's done a lot of refining to the look. You have the new corporate design language here, the company's cascading grille, which is unique to this N model. It's got full LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, and then the N gives you this red accented lower lip uh, and a deeper front fascia uh, to give it a more aggressive look. Now this car uh, dimensionally hasn't really changed, and Hyundai has actually kept the funky three-door uh, body style that the Veloster has always given you. And under the hood, this is the most important aspect of the all-new N model. Unlike the base Veloster, which comes with a two-liter or a 1.6 turbo, this has the two-liter turbocharged engine with 275 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. That's all going through a six-speed manual, the only transmission choice. So thank you, Hyundai, for saving the manuals. This is going to go head-to-head -head with vehicles like the Civic Si, Ford Focus ST, and Volkswagen Golf GTI. Now you can see here the wheels on this uh, particular one. These are the upgraded 19-inch wheels uh, with summer performance tires on 235 series rubber. This one also has the upgraded brakes. Uh, they're 13.6-inch rotors uh, clamped by these four-piston high-performance calipers with the red specific uh, paint on it. So when you actually look at the rest of the proportions of the Veloster, Hyundai, as I said earlier, kept the funky three-door body style. And I honestly love the way it looks. I drove the R-Spec model a couple years ago with the turbo. I loved it. It just needed a little bit more oomph, and that's what the end performance line is des designed to give you. Now, at the rear of the car, this is probably where you're going to notice the most changes to it. It looks interesting. Um, the new taillight design, the end badge, love the dual fat exhaust tips, which Hyundai says it's actually it's an active exhaust, and when you have it in the end performance mode, it actually will do those crackles and burbles uh, that you won't get on vehicles like the Civic Type R, uh, but it's supposed to sound similar to something like a Ford Focus RS. I honestly can't wait to drive it because that, to me, is the kind of sounds I want to hear from a performance car. Now, looking at the actual cargo area, uh, Hyundai didn't have any numbers uh, to you know tell us if this is improved or not, but you you can see this is still a hatchback. It gives you plenty of space. It's a nice deep floor, um, so you know it's very practical. You can put all your stuff in here. And then underneath this floorboard here, let's see if it has actually a spare tire. There is actually a temporary spare. So luckily, you guys don't have to deal with a fix a flat kit. So the exterior of the new Veloster N certainly is very aggressive. Hyundai actually kept the interior refreshingly simple. Uh, this particular one that I'm getting in, this cloth that you see, this is what you get. Hyundai said at launch they're not going to offer leather, they're not going to offer a sunroof, uh, and you really just get these black cloth seats. I, I kind of hope they do offer leather. They're going to wait to see uh, customer demands and then you know make a decision from there. Now, first getting in this interior, I have to say, uh, it reminds me a lot of the first generation Veloster. You sit low, uh, you have to duck your head a little bit. The seats, they could be more aggressively bolstered. Um, I wish that, I think for the N model, they should definitely make it more aggressively bolstered uh, just because this is a performance car and, you know, if people, if Hyundai expects people to take this to the track, the seats, I think, need to hug me a little bit more. The steering wheel also, I like the stitching that they use, but I wish it was a flat bottom design. Um, I really like the flat bottom steering wheel on the Elantra GT Sport sedan, uh, so it'd be nice to see Hyundai do that. Now, um, what the best thing about this car, six-speed manual, standard transmission, there's no automatic. The clutch, Actually, it's very similar to a Honda Clutch. It's really light, springy. Uh, the shifter itself, it's a short throw shifter. I really like the feel of it, honestly. Uh, I really love the shifter in the Elantra Sport sedan that I had uh, last year, and this is very similar to it. Um, now, you are going to get plenty of text features in here. It has push button start. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It has an 8-inch touchscreen display. Um, but I would like to see maybe a sunroof available and maybe some color added to the actual interior of this car. Now, Hyundai says the end version will actually uh, be available at late this year in the fourth quarter of 2018. The regular Veloster, um, which is the Veloster base, and then the Veloster R-Spec, which has the turbo engine, the 1.6, those will be available in the second quarter of 2018. And overall, I think the Veloster N is going to be a really big... Um, game changer for Hyundai in the performance category. Hyundai's never done anything like this. For me, I can't wait to drive it, but I have to say one thing, the end name in this car is definitely interesting. I just don't know if it's synonymous for like a sexy name in something that's a performance car. Actually, I see, I feel like Hyundai chose N because Albert Bierman used to work for BMW's M division. Maybe that's why he did it, but I just, 
I'm not sure if it's going to resonate well with enthusiasts as being a letter that is synonymous with performance. But for Redline Reviews at the 2018 Detroit Auto Show, I'm Sophie Ambe.